From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A British study finds that years of constant work stress could take its toll on your heart. Early warning signs of heart disease and diabetes are more common among people who report chronic work stress. The researchers write that employees with chronic work stress were more than twice as likely to have the syndrome than those without work stress. You see, this is exactly why I blow off all of my assignments and goof off while I'm at work. I, mean, I do it for my health. Chemicals used to make non-stick coatings on cookware and to waterproof fabrics may raise the cholesterol in children, according to U.S. researchers. Children in a study with the highest levels of these compounds in their blood had measurably higher levels of total cholesterol and LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol, compared with children with lower readings. Okay, well, all right, well, then here's an idea. How about we just teach kids not to eat clothes and frying pans? The Supreme Court just struck down a federal law that prohibits sports gambling and a landmark decision that gives states the go-ahead to legalize betting on sports. Because, you know, I mean, up until now, there's been absolutely no betting on sports since it was illegal. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a new rubber chicken museum at Archie McPhee's in Seattle. I wonder if they'll accept rubber checks to pay for admission. According to a recent Rasmussen poll, 37% of Americans believe that zombies would do a better job than Congress. Although, I mean, have you seen who we have in Congress? I'm not so sure there's much of a difference. NBC is going with all Chicago Wednesdays this fall, with Chicago Med, followed by Chicago Fire, followed by Chicago PD. With additions next year of Chicago Sanitation, followed by Chicago Street Vendors and Chicago Panhandlers. According to a new study, gigantic apes standing 10 feet tall, weighing up to 1,200 pounds, lived alongside humans for many years. Fortunately for the early humans, the huge primate's diet consisted mainly of bamboo. But they did have a thing for hanging out with attractive blonde ladies that they could hold in the palm of their hands. A recent study says 30% of New York City millennials are living at home with their parents. You know, with the cost of living in New York City, who can really blame them? Facebook has admitted recently what many people already know – at least the teenagers already know – it's not as cool to be on Facebook anymore. But while some stories would have you believe teens are dumping Facebook in droves, that's not exactly true. The company says while there is a decrease in daily users among younger teens, still just about every teen in the U.S. is still using the social media service in some way. Well, wait a minute here, you mean teens that get bored with stuff easily? <gasps> Who'd have thunk it? A new law in Kansas says police officers can't have sex with people they pull over for traffic violations. Even more disturbing, this apparently happens often enough they felt the need to create a law against it. Rhode Island has the highest percentage of people with major depression in the country, according to a new study. No surprise, it also has the highest number of out-of-state Cleveland Browns fans. Keep listening, I've got more weird news coming up. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can mail a real, personalized greeting card without leaving the house or going out to buy stamps. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards on the website or create one of your own completely from scratch, using your own photos and message. And you can even use your own handwriting and signature if you wish. You create it all digitally on the website before it goes to the post office to get mailed. And for an extra special touch, you can add a gift to the card, like a stuffed animal, bakery items, or candy. And you can try it now, absolutely free. I'll pay for it. Go to sendoutcards.com slash weird to give it a try. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. A new poll says America's favorite Mexican restaurant is Taco Bell. Meanwhile, in Mexico, the favorite American restaurant is Taco Bell. Emergency room visits for school-age athletes with concussions has skyrocketed in recent years, suggesting the intensity of kids' sports has increased along with awareness of head injuries. So, beginning immediately, all chess club members must wear padding. A Minnesota woman was arrested after a foul smell led authorities to find 60 dead cats in her house. You thought the cat lady in your neighborhood was crazy. 60 dead cats! That's like 540 lives! On Facebook, 16-year-old Dominique Abayos couldn't wait to post a picture of his rare newborn Mexican hairless puppy. 
The tiny pup was pictured asleep on the teenager's hand with his bald body and wrinkled neck on full display. Only problem is Facebook decided it looked too much like a man's private parts and banned it for failing to meet community standards. Dominic from the Philippines said, "...it's really hard for me to see the penis perspective because when I look at it, I always just see the puppy." Really, Facebook? Really? What, too bad you didn't put this much energy in keeping the Russians from interfering in our elections. A Pablo Picasso painting expected to fetch $70 million at an auction this week was accidentally damaged last Friday, according to a statement from auction house Christie's. It, it is a Picasso, though. I mean, his paintings are so abstract, nobody will probably notice anyway. Missouri Governor Eric Greitens makes history this week as the first sitting governor in the state of Missouri to go on trial for a felony. He's fighting blackmail charges. If convicted, he does have a political future as governor of Illinois. Delaware has made history as the first state in all of America to make child marriage illegal under all circumstances. Democratic Governor John Carney signed the bill, making it against the law for anyone under the age of 18 to get married, even with parental consent. So if you want to marry that seven-year-old, you're going to have to find some other state to do it in. Any state, actually. Delaware, believe it or not, is the only state that has this law with no loopholes. First Lady Melania Trump underwent kidney surgery Monday at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center, meaning a week away from the White House. On the positive side, a week away from the White House! Fox is renewing the TV series Lethal Weapon, but with a new Martin Riggs. Sean William Scott, which you might remember from the movie American Pie, is going to take over the role for Clay Crawford, who was fired last week following instances of alleged emotional abuse of cast and crew members. Now, to reword that, the guy playing Martin Riggs got fired for being a bit too much like Martin Riggs. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary, true stories, check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!